Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is day one of Dreams of Childhood event. So in here, um, the event is a little format, okay? But then I'll guide you through it. So we're going to have the event overview and then how to get the two SRs of Artem and Vin, okay? Then afterwards, I'm going to show you like a demo on how to beat the Homo King, okay? Uh, this video, I'm going to focus more on how to beat the Homo King because that one I know more people is gonna mold <laughs> versus like how to get the sr okay so first of all i'm going to do like a very short introduction okay this banner is a uh, two ssr okay and there are two srs in the event that's artem and vin okay so for the two ssrs you can just gacha it okay but do note that your uh your pt is coming from revisiting news and will carry over to the next non-birthday non for ssr banner okay so assuming like the next event could be like um snow falling secrets or uh, solo banner those types those types of ssrs then it will carry over okay so don't feel bad if you if you didn't get the ssr okay now next is um you have the house of childhood okay so house of childhood is basically a card flipping game okay and the currency is one is to one so one voucher is equal to um one s chip okay and you need 160 to flip okay and then the mm, the order to get artem's sr is rng okay so for pool one you will get artem's sr pool two you will get vin's sr now do note that artem's sr is um like the quote unquote the premium price okay so you cannot proceed to the second pool without getting artem's sr okay that's why it's rng now assuming that you have the worst of luck and you have it at hard pity it is doable such that you form the last stage over here dreams of childhood okay um <clears throat> where is that so one is you get the vouchers by doing all of these tasks. It's very easy, okay? You don't have to do the stages, okay? Not like you don't really have to grind the stages for this one. Follow your heart, trust your intuition, and logical direction. You don't need to do this. All you have to do is just go to Homo's task, just beat these three, and it's enough. It's already enough, in my opinion, okay? It's already enough with this one. Plus, you can do this one. Either the trials of Themis or this one, these three. Analysis, crisis, psychology, these three, okay? Can do you can do this one just refute it using um lower rarity cards okay or you can just do it in anomaly stages okay that's an option to do it okay next is the fair fair evader fair evader is actually in chapter two chapter two stage five go here this one okay if you're if if for example when you tap go and it doesn't redirect here it will redirect here and says that oh the download you haven't downloaded this content just download chapter two only okay just download chapter 2 only and then try it again. It should work. Okay. That's more or less how to get those vouchers. And then in the... Where is that? Oof. <laughs> Homos Trials, Battle of Wits. Just do um, the last stage if you can. Okay. 112. 112 um, deck build. Okay. To beat Homo in Q&A. Okay. So as long as you do the last stage, you can get Artem's SR for free. But you need to spend S chips to get Finn's SR. It's more or less around 2,000... 900 so let's say like 3000 on average to um 4000 more or less depends on which stage that you're farming if you're farming on three it could go the cost could go higher if you're farming at four then yeah that, that would be the average cost don't worry i'll put i'll put the cost on on the video okay now <clears throat> let's go to the brain challenge now the brain challenge is semi refresher <laughs> if you're able to finish these stages from the previous one the anniversary civil debate then you can do homo trials okay the only problem here is the battle of the champions that's the hardest one obviously so um the first three okay is concentrated on one element okay and at the same time it already says here you can only use logic cards so you cannot use like a mixed element okay so you are kind of forced okay so yeah just auto it you, you can auto it it's really really simple if you can't then um just just remember which card is your preemptive strike and then just build the buff over it okay you can check i will post my um tips to strengthen tips to strengthen deck okay <laughs> i'll put that in the link it's a whole playlist plus i'll also put like a simple demo about the anniversary so that you can like refer to it as well okay so yeah it's the same for the other two okay same same logic just this one is used in uh, empathy and this one you use intuition so really 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 simple if you can't do it um, have at least like a discrepancy of around 20,000 deck power. So 135 minimum, ideally you can do it at 110 or 120k. It's doable. Okay. Now, the Homo King is a null, um, null element, which means that at the last stage, he will have null, um, which means you can use any element and it will only deal normal damage, like times one only. Okay. Where normally if you have the weakness thingy, okay, you will deal extra 1.5 damage, right? Now, you can't, you you cannot just do optimize okay because uh there's that chance that your optimize 
like you feed you fed this card more than the other card so when you optimize you will have more of one element versus the other okay i hope that makes sense now deck building strategies is have at least at least one preemptive strike card but not more than three so one to three preemptive strike cards so for example mine is the anniversary cards so you can put all your anniversary ssrs okay because all of them have preemptive strikes another example is like selected srs so those are the sports srs um for example um I don't I don't have looks. But like one example is Vin riding the horse. This one. God dang it. Uh <laughs> oof. Uh here. Right. Vin, this one is preemptive strike. This one. Preemptive strike. Another example is uh Artem Artem Focus Fire, the one with the one he's holding the gun. So yeah, those those type of SRs with preemptive strike. Okay. Um second, have buff cards. Now this is where I'm going to split into two parts, okay? So first your buff cards needs to have the three turn and two turn okay three turn two turn and one turn buffs those are the three types of um buff cards now under those buff cards there are two subtypes or categories okay there's the rainbow buff and the colored buff okay i would just name it like that because i don't know what else you call it okay so rainbow buff an example for it was uh looks looks darts sr okay this is the free sr during christmas and you get rainbow buff good for one turn this is an example of a rainbow buff okay the other sample is this one okay Bait and lure with empathy two turns something like that okay at least have one one colored buff and one rainbow buff so you can do like a two one or one two just not all of the same thing so example you have like red buff red buff red buff as much as possible try avoiding that one because we're doing a mix elements so as much as possible you will want to share some of your buff to the uh some of the buffs to the other elements that way you could help deal more damage even though if they're different elements okay that goes the same for logic and intuition as well, okay? So, try to have a deck of, like, equal elements. So, five of empathy, five of logic, five of intuition. Try to have a formation like that. So that when the time comes that you're going to hit a, an element that is against you, you want to fuck up. I hope that makes sense, okay? I'll explain more during the debate, okay? Now, I'm just going to demonstrate because my deck right now is at 175. So, I'm going to um, simulate a, a bit weaker deck at 165k. So I tried going low, as low as 150, and apparently it doesn't work. It's actually very hard because it's it's mixed elements. So you cannot like um, maximize some of the passives compared to like the previous homo trials where you can only use one element. So in a sense, like uh, it takes away some of the damage bonus. And at the same time, like it also depends on your deck. If you have more colored buffs, then uh, like, yeah, it's a pros and cons depending on how you play. And please do not do auto. I know like we're all lazy as fuck because so yeah, sometimes auto is not an option because, again, auto will only do like the strongest card. So most likely it will do a preemptive strike first before the buff instead of like the other way around. So yeah, I hope all of these like basic notes make sense. So yeah, let's let's go. Okay, I almost forgot another way to like level up your deck because in my previous video it was when it when it's still in the previous patch. Okay, so in the new patch, okay, they added this node in study room boost the influence of all cards by. X percent where one level is one percent you can choose to do this but only if your uh study room level is level 50 okay otherwise uh you can just stick to like trying to fill up this part okay before doing this part before doing this this is the last one okay and then uh, once you hit 50 just tap reset okay tap reset here it costs twenty thousand stellar which is cheap okay then afterwards you can just reset focus on this whole side okay and then rest of the points goes to here okay uh, try to get this skill also because at the last at the last wave if your deck level isn't super strong homo's influence level will in will keep increasing so there's a chance that you might actually uh lose hp until zero before you can even finish the debate so yeah okay i kind of change i kind of just add a little bit on the on the support deck so so that i wouldn't have a hard time but yeah okay since i have more intuition than Rainbow, I will start with the intuition cards, which means using logic. Now, I have a dilemma. It's either I can use the colored buff or the rainbow buff. In this case, I would use the colored buff, okay, before the preemptive strike. Okay, as much as possible in wave one, you only use colored buffs and preemptive strike, okay? If you don't have a choice, then just do the card that gives you longer buff, okay? Uh, this one is logic, okay. Okay, wave two. Now, since if you have any remaining buff, okay, in this case, I have logic remaining buff, then it's a semi-calling for you to use a logic card. But if your case is a rainbow buff, 
then use the logic of which one has more elements in your card. So in this case, it would be intuition. Okay. Now, since in my case, I have logic buff, I will use this one. Okay. <clears throat> so at least it gives a little bit of buff. Okay. Next, I have this. And then, what do I do now? Since I have small HP left, ideally I would use the logic, but I don't have any logic cards right now. The next in line would be empathy card. But do note that you have these two boxes, right? So what I would do, I would switch box, okay? Then, since I still have the rainbow buff, it means I can still choose either of this one, okay? That's, that's your priority. Now, I have more intuition cards, so I would choose the blue one, okay? Then, afterwards, I will use colored buff. Okay? Colored buff, since I don't have a choice. Okay. Then I'll go here. I would leave the one with the least HP last. That way, whatever buff that you had here will be carried over to the next wave. So in this case, I will save look SR, this one, for this box at the last turn. Okay. Now for now, I will buff. Buff and smack. Can I do it? Okay. Good. Now I will use... What do I do now? Okay, a while ago, why I use Artem's Preemptive Strike is because I'm kind of confident that I can do it, okay? It's a it's a risk, but it's doable, okay? If you're not confident on your Preemptive Strike cards, you can use the other card instead. So in my case, it's this one, okay? Now, what do I do? I use this one. <clears throat> so at least I have the rainbow buff to carry over to look. And afterwards, I can have a logic buff. Now, obviously, I would use another logic buff again. Let's go, okay? I can choose to buff another logic card which is this one okay so i have one two two keep going okay since i don't have any more logic cards um i i need to disregard these two now okay and focus on one rainbow so what can i do to buff this one it's time to jump ship okay it's time to jump ship so either you want to play safe and go for more rainbow buffs or stick to your intuition cards now since i know i have a vin intuition card somewhere i can choose to take the risk or play safe and use a rainbow card so this is up to you in my case i will do intuition okay oh oof all right just keep buffing just keep buffing okay try to extend the buff as long as possible okay like we do not want to have a no buff because that'd be gg okay okay there there's the win card okay one one three i cannot extend the buff because if i use this one okay it will be double rainbow where that's just only two buff where in this one is three buff so i will use win card eh. okay now since i have this one and i only have two turns left take the strongest buff okay take the strongest buff and i know i have a preemptive strike here okay i will choose this one okay and then i'll finish it off with preemptive strike bam done oh my god really really complicated <laughs> so yeah this is the card that i use okay oh my god i tried using like 150k but like it doesn't work like i need like an extra one to two turns i tried 165,000. it can work but like after i don't know 20 tries which is like insta molding so i just try to like lower it a bit so in a sense i can say 165k would be the lowest possible but it's hard it's really really clutch and you need to have perfect rng so try to like match match the deck power in my opinion or you can do uh you can level up the skill level now uh Going going back, I, I know a lot of people will ask this. Uh, what's my skill level? So for my preemptive strike, okay, for my preemptive strike, I have maximum level, okay. Maximum um maximum skill levels, okay. And then uh the minimum I would say is level eight, okay. Level eight. Why level eight? Because uh I don't have an example. Oh my god, okay. Why level eight is because level eight to ten is having the gold impression, okay. Damn it, I don't have an example. I just go here instead SMH. <laughs> okay, because level 8 to 10 is using gold impressions. Where are you? Yeah, here. Gold impression. Gold impression is very hard to get because you can only get it via Anomaly and Headquarters, which is RNG. So, yeah. Well, uh, compared to like Impression 2, Impression 2 is a little bit easier to get because in case if you fail to get the gold in Anomaly stages, you can get Impression 2. So, and at the same time, it's a bit cheaper. So, I would suggest that your card, that your card skill level would be at least 7 to 8. Better if it's 10. Yeah, here. See? 7 to 8 needs this one already, which is, like, expensive. So, yeah. I don't have an example for it. So, yeah. Anyways. That's about it. Uh, Yeah, I, I just don't want to try it anymore. <laughs> uh, super molding. <coughs> so, yeah. That's about it. Hope this guide helps on like, how, how to do the homo challenge for those who are still struggle. Again, it is not a requirement to do the brain challenge because... Uh, it's just a name card, okay? You're, you're just molding all of this for a name card, which is 
just for aesthetics only. So it's up to you. If you really can't do it, then don't try don't try to like wail or something. Okay. It's not worth your sanity. Okay. So yeah, is there a rerun for this name card so far? There is no rerun for any name cards. So yeah, it's up to you if you want it or not. It's optional. Okay. It does not hinder you getting the SRs. Okay. So yeah, that's about it. Hope this guide helps. Until then, see you on the next video. Bye bye.